Welcome to Off Grid with Dave and Sonia. I'm Dave, and today we're going to test the power consumption of this heating bed. So in the cold seasons, we like to use these pet heating pads under our blankets to keep our feet warm. And we use them inside the house and in the trailer. So we've used them in the trailer. It's been zero degrees outside uh, back before we had the good heat and insulation in the trailer. Uh, it was 40 degrees inside the trailer. We had multiple layers of blankets. We had some clothes on. But if we kept this underneath our blankets, uh, it would keep our feet warm and it really helped out. So we can keep the heat down at nighttime in the trailer, not use as much power from our batteries, and these really use very little power. So let me show you the difference between these two, and then we'll run an extended test on this heating pad right here. So these two heating pads control the temperatures differently. So let me turn this on, and then we're gonna start at the lowest temperature setting. So you can see we're consuming 6.5 watts. As I increase the temperature, you should see that it will go up. And the highest this pad goes to is 130. So this pad consumes 32 watts at max. So this is the other heating pad. It starts off at zero. I'll turn it on. 86 is the lowest setting. It's consuming 26 and a half watts. As I increase to max, it's still consuming 26 26 and a half watts. So what this one does is as it reaches the temperature, it'll cycle the power. Let's see if we can see that at 86. Once it reaches the 86 degrees, it'll turn off and then I'll turn back on again. So the higher the temperature is, the less time it will be off. So we're gonna do a test with this one. We'll run run it for eight hours on a low setting and then we'll run it for eight hours on a high setting and see what the difference in power consumption is. So the temperature at 91 degrees, you can see we're using 26 watts. So then when it reaches the temperature, it drops down to zero. And when it cools down a little bit, it'll come back up. So the heating pad is under all the blankets. It's under this fitted sheet that sits right here. I have it set to 86 degrees. I got it on for eight hours. I've reset the kilowatt meter, so it's zeroed out right now. Eight hours from now, we'll come back and we'll check it out. So we just hit the eight hour mark, and the unit turned off. So I have the timer set back here for eight hours, so it turned off. So let's see what it says we used. Total cost, if it was in our house, would have been one cent of use for eight hours. 20 cent rate. And we used 0 0.05 kilowatt hours, or that would be 50 watt hours. So let's reset this meter. And we'll turn this back on. Turn it up to 141, which is max. And we'll set it for eight hours and then we'll check the power usage again. So remember to subscribe to our channel. It's been eight hours and just turned off. So let's see what we use when we were at full power. So we use two cents of electricity for inside the house. And we used 0.13 kilowatts or 130 watt hours. So in summary, these small pet heating pads are a nice option for heat. They consume very little power. So at low, this pad used 50 watt hours. 
and at high it used 130 watt hours. So they're a great option in our trailer for our battery system, but they're also a great option in our house to allow us to turn the heat down at night. So if you like videos like this, make sure you click the subscribe button up here and watch some of our other videos down here. Thank you. Enjoy.